Nwike appointed all the commissioners' orders. Is Fubara a dummy governor? Can Nwike accept that? Zenith Labour Party chairman, uh, you know, makes this comment. Exactly. And that's exactly what Nigerians are saying. All the things that Nwike will never tolerate are the things he's doing to Fubara. And I accept Fubara to remain um, quiet forever. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. The guy has to, you know, save his head. And, you know, because if this collapse under his care, it is him they will call. They will not go and call Wiki that is an FCT minister. Why would Wiki that hated Godfatherism from beginning to the end of his eight years administration now want to be a permanent Godfather in, Lego, in, uh, in Port Harcourt for Fubara? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So, Fubara is not a dummy governor. He, Mike shouldn't have, you know, given him all the commissioners and all the political appointees working for him so that he can continue to strangulate Fubara in office. All those plans have failed. So, let's dive into the details. Nyeso Mike, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, has been advised to end his rivalry with River State Governor Similarly Fubara and focus on his duties in Abuja. Dan Anyangu, national chairman of the Zenith Labour Party, expressed these sentiments during an interview with the Punch. With the Punch. So Anyangu praised Mwike's commendable work in the FCT but criticized his ongoing struggle for control in River State, describing it as concerning, of course. So the escalating feud between Mwike and his successor Fubara which began last October, has been a source of concern for Rivers' residents, causing political unrest. Fubara, recently thankful for overcoming the state's political turbulence, has faced challenges such as the controversial cancellation of 10,000 jobs initially approved by Wiki, a decision affecting many during these trying times. So I now question Wiki's desire to maintain influence in River State after his eight years tenure. Nothing, okay, noting that Wiki had appointed key positions during his governorship. He urged Wiki to treat others as he would want to be treated, re referencing the biblical principle of reciprocity. So according to the Punch report, uh, Dan Anyango said, you cannot be in power for eight years and want to continue to be governor. Mwike appointed all the commissioners, chief of staff, chief security officer, and all the local government chairmen. Why? Did you put a dummy there as a governor? Would you have accepted that if you were the one who became governor? You will not accept it now. So, Nganyao emphasized that Mwike should respect Fubara's authority, suggesting that Mwike's action would be intolerable if the rules were reversed. So he urged Wiki to apply the Godi rule and concentrate on his current responsibilities in the FCT where he has excelled. So commending Wiki's performance in Abuja, Nwanyangu proposed expanding Wiki's rule to include national infrastructure development while acknowledging his commendable efforts in improving Abuja's infrastructure and uh, advocating for similar um, enhancements nationwide. So what do you mean by giving him expanding rules to include national infrastructure? So what will happen to Minister of Housing, Minister of Works, and all other ministers? Is he going to encroach into their rules? <laughs> it doesn't work that way now. He should face his Abuja and do what he has to do there. That is the thing. Let him now go and begin to coerce other people's rules and responsibilities. Uh, somebody is saying here at the comment section, say, Mwike is a greedy individual. How can you appoint all the commissioners and other available posts, including all the local government chairmen? Is this what you call political structure? You are too greedy. And that is it. Mwike is greedy. Mwike wants to be the Tinubu of River State, <laughs> but it's not going to work for him because they've blocked him left, right, and center. Hmm? That's kakistocracy at work in Rivers. Thank there is a Moses in the person of Fubara in Rivers. Pharaoh has been destroyed. Oh boy. Wiki is now the Pharaoh or the Egyptian that is troubling the people of Rivers State. 
His structure is a criminal structure and fools are supporting it, which is very bad. The structure is to continue to lay hold and siege on the river state uh, revenue, the river state treasury. That is it. You can imagine that, you know, when you can handle about Fubara, okay, he said the IGR was 12 billion naira. Meanwhile, Fubara had access to only 6 billion to run the government. For close to nine months, Fubara did not have access to anything, or over six months. Now, when Fubara eventually took control, he found out that the, the true IGR of the state is 27 billion, but Mwiki has been reported 12 billion for all the eight years in office. So, what happened to the other 15 billion? That is the question. And for the 12 billion that has been reported for, for, for eight years, I made 6 billion only available for Fubara to use. Then, what happened to the remaining 6 billion? So, 6 billion from 15 billion is 21 billion. Oh boy. No wonder Mwiki did not want to let the state be. And that is bad. Absolutely very bad. Yeah? Absolutely very bad. Absolutely very bad. Yeah? So now he has ended up giving himself a bad name in that state. So you don't mind those that are supporting Wiki. They don't know what they're doing. It's their selfish interest that is driving them. What is Wiki business with Fubara government? Now so I make you worry him. Now be the question now. Eh? The people who once give you power, no worry you. Now you give power to somebody else, you're going to worry the person. Does it make sense? Does it? Somebody say, can Dan and Yango speak on something profitable, okay? And that can put food on the people's table rather than meddling on this unprofitable thing. What is unprofitable? Mwiki is doing well in Abuja and Fubara is doing well in Rivers. Of what business is Mwanyango to talk about? APCDP eh, matter. I think he should be concerned about how to make ZLP come on board and be represented in the National Assembly if truly he is their chairman. So this jobless man talk out of senses, but that is his opinion. Okay? That is what I'm That is what I'm Somebody who appointed Fubara, disloyalty. Okay, <laughs> so they don't sort uh, Dan Mwanyangu for speaking out, but the truth is, we can need to leave Fubara alone. We can need to concentrate in his Abuja work and leave Fubara. And he should, what he does not want anybody, or what he would not want anybody to do to him, he shouldn't do it to other people. What he's doing to Fubara, he himself will not accept it from anybody. So, why is he doing it to Fubara? Is it because he's put Fubara there? So Fubara must be like a horn, ping pong, ping pong in his hand, have you? No, no. Now the thing don't change. He can't continue that rubbish anymore. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment over what Dan Mwanyangu is saying, the chairman of the Zen Clever Party speaking from Abuja.